Something weird is happening. I'm noticing it in a few stores, but I didn't record it until this store. So let me know in the comments if you're seeing it in your area. Precautions are being put back in place. The six foot standing distance signs that they post on the floor and wearing the mask. A lot of stores had taken those things down but I'm starting to see them pop back up. Now, I don't know if it's because the numbers are picking back up or it's because of the triple demic that's going on. We do have that triple demic that is happening, RSV, COVID, and flu all at the same time. So I don't know if that is the reason why they're picking back up on those precautions, but I just wanted to let you guys know and see it. So stay safe while you're out there and let's get into the rest of the video a few weeks ago i told you guys about 350 sally stores that will be closing as i walk up to the store right here they had in the window that this is one of the stores that will be closing and to shop nearby well nearby is about 40 minutes so many people are losing their jobs and this is why we stock up to stay prepared for situations that are out of our control who knows where this is going to go but we got to be prepared. In 2020, they put these signs out where they have just re-put these six foot distance signs back out. Do they know something we don't? So while you're out this holiday season shopping or whatever you're doing, be safe, be careful. Mountains over there, and y'all, a brand new Walmart neighborhood market. Let's go in and see what's going on. It is drizzling. So far, so good. They look nice and stocked. A couple of gaps here in the lunch meat area. Let's go see what the deli baker got. Yeah. Well, I want me a rotisserie, but they got theirs for $6.97. I know in this small, it's lemon pepper. I'm going to go see if Costco's still have any. We got eggs over here. So their eggs are $18.30 for 60 Four seventy-two for twelve, six twenty-three for eighteen. We'll just have this little section right here for butter, but it seems pretty stocked. So we got peanut butter over here. This peanut butter is six seventy-eight. So if you can find popcorn, and most likely you can, the prices are going up on it because of the shortage of corn. Um, if you've noticed, Walmart marketplaces are just miniature superstores. So everything is condensed down in size. But I do see a lot of gaps in this store. I don't know how long this particular store has been here. I didn't notice it until uh, maybe a month ago. So I'm thinking maybe two months it's been here, but this is my first time in here. 
and as you can see they do have items in here so if you're running into well my store does not have shortages now is the time for you to stock up before things really get bad um, don't wait to be out there panic shopping with everyone else because you're going to be fighting over these canned goods that are sitting here I'm also noticing in some areas that beef prices are kind of stable or at a low point, but that is all going to change because ranchers went in, sold their cattle early to try to make a profit from it, but they're not really raising animals like that for next year. Take advantage of these 98 cent turkeys and stock your freezers up now. The refrigerated section did not look bad at all. They just had a few gaps here and there. They did have um, French fries in here. I'm noticing those are starting to kind of dwindle down in certain stores. Don't forget to stock up on your medications over the counter and any prescriptions that you can get filled ahead of time. And if you have to pay out of pocket, maybe do that. Between life is 